Welcome back friends, it's Dan Vega back with another tutorial and today we're going to be talking all about a new feature in Vue 3 called Fragments and we'll do it right after this. Alright, so we're here on the Vue Next repository. This is where you can grab the Vue 3 source code. Um, but I'm actually going to use a Vue 3 CLI plugin for Vue Next. Um, so this allows us this plugin. I've covered a video on this before, and I'll leave a link in the description or up here. And this is a nice way to add Vue 3 to a project that's created using the Vue CLI. So that's what we're going to do today. We'll create a project. We'll take a look at what problem Fragment solves and how we can use it in our Vue 3 applications. So let's go ahead and jump in. So we're just going to create a new project using the Vue CLI. So I'm going to say Vue create, we'll call this Fragments Demo. And what we're going to do is manually select some features. We're actually just going to keep the existing uh, lint. And I'm going to put this in a dedicated config file. Uh, save this. Nope. Let's go ahead and create this. And I'm going to jump back over to the plugin documentation. So if you didn't get a chance to check out the video that I created before, basically we're creating a new project using the Vue CLI and then we're going to add this plugin. And the way that we're going to do that is by using Vue Add and then Vue Next. So that's going to add Vue 3 into our existing project and allow us to play around with some of the new Vue 3 features. Okay, so I'm going to jump into that directory. So I'm going to go into Fragments Demo. And again, I'm going to go Vue Add Vue Next. And again, that's going to install the plugin and it's going to make some changes to a few files and we'll take a look at what those changes are. Okay, and that's done and you can see that it's made changes to a few files, package.json, source main.js, and our yarn lock file. So I'm going to open this in Visual Studio Code. Alright, so if we look in the package.json, you can see that we're using Vue uh, Alpha 3.00 Alpha 1. Uh, so that uh, you know you're using the newest uh, view version. So again, if you're using this in the future and you're watching this, you won't need to go through this step. Uh, you could probably just load up uh, a new view application and you'll be using view 3. But until it's actually released, this is what we're going to have to do. So what I'm going to do in the source components, I'm going to delete this and create a new component. So I'm going to say fragments.view. And I'm going to create a new scaffold here, just say in view, and that gives us our template, our script, and our style block. So what I want to do first is take a look at the problem that Vue 2 has uh, with fragments. So I'm going to pretend that this is a Vue 2 application, and we'll see kind of what the uh, error is, and then we can see how Vue 3 solves this using something called fragments. So I'm going to go ahead and type out a title. So let's just say title. So I'm starting this application and I realize that this page needs a title. So I'm going to come in and create some reactive properties here. So I'm going to create a title and we'll just say hello view 3. And this, if we go ahead and run it, would work as expected. So let's go ahead and move that. And let's go npm run serve. Okay, whoops, I deleted some stuff and this should not be working. So what I'm going to do is actually just call this fragments and change this. And now we should be running and if we open this in local state 80, we have our title hello view 3. Okay, so nothing exciting going on there. Now, if I was working on this, normally in a Vue 2 app, um, if I thought to myself, okay, now I have a title, but I also need a description. So I might come down here, create a paragraph, and say description, and come down here and create some another reactive property called description. This is awesome. So now if I go ahead and save this, uh, normally in a Vue 2 app, I would get this error. It would say the template root requires exactly one element. 
And that's because here in the template, I need to have only one root element in a view 2 application. So something that I might do to fix this is I might come in here and say div.page and come in here and wrap that and that would fix our error and it would no longer be complaining. Now in view 3, we don't have to do that. Um, we can leave this as is and this will work. Now this isn't working in this particular case because we've added view 3 to a view 2 project basically, right? But um, all that's happening right now is this is an ESLint error. So we can see that this is actually coming from this particular ESLint rule. So if you wanted to play around with fragments in this particular setup, we can actually come into our, oh, there's our ESLint. And so we have some rules here, and I'm just going to add a new rule. And we can see what that rule is. Uh, it's basically view valid template root. And if I go ahead and save that and go back to here, and let's fire this back up. And there we go. So no more error. So um, ESLint comes with, um, we have a bunch of, of view rules, if you will. Um, so you can kind of look those up outside of here. That's kind of the view, is, view essential plugin that, that is bringing in here. Um, so one of those rules is that template root that I just turned off because I know that in this view 3 application, we don't care about that. And so that's all there is, um, basically like not having to have just a single root. So you'll hear the word fragments, uh, and fragments is um, just another kind of, uh, it's a term for multiple root nodes. So in this case, we have two, um, we have an H1 and we have a P. We don't have just that single root node. We have two nodes in here. And so that that's what fragments are. And the nice thing about fragments is that it also works uh, with the compiler. So when you write code like this template, it's actually compiled down to render functions in um, view. And so the compiler underneath the hood is smart enough to figure this out as well and compiles it down and uses something called fragment. So if you ever look at what is a uh, template is compiled down to, especially in this case, uh, you'll see something called fragments. And I'm going to show you a quick example of that. All right, so I'm going to pop back over to the browser here, and I'm looking at the View Next Template Explorer. So there, this is in the public, so you can actually find this just by searching for it. Or it actually comes with the View 3 source code as well. So if you download View Next, uh, in the source code, you'll find this um, View Next Template Explorer. And this just allows you to paste in some template text uh, markup and see what it compiles down to. And so if we go ahead and co copy in those two root nodes, you can see that what this is compiling down to in the render function, it's actually importing fragment here. And so fragment is the feature that we're talking about. And so I just wanted to point out that um, not only are we able to do that, um, but this feature is getting um, done for us underneath the hood when our templates are compiled down to render functions as, as well. So just a, a little bit of an annoying feature in Vue 2 that I'm really glad and happy to see that they fixed. And so let me know your thoughts. Um, are, you, uh, are you excited about fragments? Are you excited not to have to wrap everything in a, in a container div again? Uh, let me know your thoughts below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, Happy coding, friends.